I'm Mario from uh, the Force Asia community, and next to me, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we are two of the um, community members. Force Asia has a lot of different projects. We're doing like Suzy AI, Event Yay, and Event Solution. And one thing we're doing is Pocket Science Lab. I fear um, the Pocket Science Lab uh, today. But before we go into detail, maybe we talk a bit about uh, our activities. And uh, Noah, you have been very active, like traveling around the world and also presenting, for example, um, at the recent uh, Taiwan event. Uh, Force Asia, could you tell us a bit like how do you involve uh, and what do you do? It's really just um, uh, because I just I want to be more of Python, but uh, I also feel that uh, I I really respect uh, what the first session do, so it's also can we can work together because I join the many community and also I can promote the Python and the first session together. Yeah. yeah, so this is a great overlap. Actually, we're here at PyCon. And um, at Force Asia, we have a lot of Python projects, um, for example, in, uh, in Eventier, but uh, even other projects or Java projects often have uh, Python wrappers. So there's always some connection in the projects to Python. And the desktop app um, of uh, the Pocket Science Lab is also written in Python. Um, so that's pretty cool. And uh, you can check it out. To make it easier, now um, we will uh, talk a bit about the um, uh, uh, app and we will show the app uh, that we have on Android. So I'm sorry for all the Python fans here in this cast, but uh, we also like though we support different technologies. Okay, so what is Pocket Science Lab? Um, here I have an example of Pocket Science Lab. Um, you, you can see it. Um, yeah, there uh, it is completely open hardware. So our idea is not just to have. Um, free and open source software. We also want to have free schematics, free hardware, free knowledge, everything, all layers should be free. Um, it's not always entirely possible because some of the development tools are not free in all, um, uh, uh, like, all parts, but like we're going in the right direction. So please check it out, the schematics, they are of course on our uh, GitHub. And now the question is, what can it actually do? We have already uh, some sure, idea. Yeah. yeah, you didn't involve in this project so much, but like you yeah, also looked at it a bit. Use the post the PS lab, I always introduce at least one is a uh, general frequency stream of energy, the signal generator, and uh, the support the transmitter. Transmitter, not the generator. It's the multi multimeter. Multimeter. Yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah, you hear already. So you can actually have one device that before were many devices. So you had before uh, uh, many different devices and we combined this in one device and it is open source hardware. You find uh, similar uh, hardware also like uh, on uh, different hardware stores, but we uh, are not just aiming uh, to make things uh, open, we're also aiming to make things uh, uh, like support, for example, more instruments or support a, a wider range of frequencies and so on. So this is the goal of the hardware project. You can do a lot of experiments, you can measure a lot of different things. And here we have um, digital connectors. You can connect this device um, to like hundreds of different sensors and uh, uh, get the data. So this is hardware and of course you need software to access this. And um, the software that we have, for example, you can find um, the Python desktop apps um, on the, um, uh, um, yeah, on our repositories. We also like working to get it into Debian and different distribution distributions. And we have um, uh, an uh, app here that is um, on the Play Store. And of course it's also on F-Droid. So this is our application. Um, that you can find already on the, uh, the app stores and you can see many different um, uh, instruments here that you can use already. So, um, so if you see them, uh, for example, I can uh, show you uh, an oscilloscope here um, uh, as part of it. So the oscilloscope looks uh, like that. Yeah, a little bit closer maybe. So you guys can see that. Um, and um, yeah, you can uh, uh, check this one out or you can check out the multimeter that was just uh, mentioned. We're trying to make things um, similar to, um, like, let's say, uh, um, actual like uh, uh, devices, it's to make it easy for people to switch from um, devices that they know to devices that uh, are, are digital. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we are supporting more and more. Like, uh, for example, we're also supporting, uh, like, let's say, a power source or lux meter. And uh, here we have um, a lux meter. And as you can see on the top, there is a, a record button. So this is a new feature that we recently introduced that you can actually record um, uh, the data in a data logger. And as you have the mobile phone, you have the GPS signal. So you can go around and collect 
uh, all kinds of data. So, um, um, yeah, so this data then we can show in the app on a map. Mm -hmm. And if you think about it, you can also export it. And uh, um, yeah, what I want to say is there was this big discussion um, uh, in mainland China, for example, about the air quality. Yeah, the government say, oh, it's not uh, official, what's the air quality and so on. But uh, actually in China, they're selling a lot of sensors. So with this kind of device, uh, which is open and everyone could also like in China there's so many production facilities yeah so everyone could even uh, uh, create it somehow or like find a, a small like a company that can uh, build it for them so you can create it and you can connect this device to a CO2 sensor to a dust sensors to many sensors and you can like uh, you can collect your environmental data very very easily um, read it through the app or read it through the desktop app uh, download it and you have the GPS location so this actually enables people to learn more about uh, their environment, what they do um, um, here in the world. Um, so, well, this is one thing that we are doing. Uh, uh, we want to improve people's lives. So we want to, like, we need to enable the, also, especially the young generation, to um, to learn about the world and to uh, Im improve their life and actually save the world. Right? Um, there's so many conflicts, but it's not just conflicts. It's also about the environment and everything. So if we understand and if we have the data and the access uh, um, uh, and, and the knowledge to, to see what's going on around us, we can change things to the better. And that's what we want to do. And this is a small part uh, here that we're trying uh, to contribute to. Mm -hmm. So what are the next steps? Of course, production. This is hardware, so we need to produce this. So this is not just a community project. We also have the FOSS Asia organization that helps with the production of uh, the hardware and, and to uh, get the sales like going. So we are aiming, um, of course, like as the lowest possible price. Right now we are at around 70 U uh, US dollars when we produce like a few thousand uh, devices. So it means like 70 US dollars um, that will pay for the delivery and um, like a small marketing efforts and so on. Um, so we're looking at a Kickstarter campaign. Not sure if we actually have to do Kickstarter. We already have a lot of people who are interested. Uh, we're deploying it currently already in some schools in Singapore. We had a, um, yesterday at the Maker Fest, for example, at NUS uh, in Singapore. Uh, um, yeah, some very nice workshops. And um, so many people like it. If you want to know more about it, go to pslab.io. Um, it's our dedicated website, um, and there we're also like publishing more and more tutorials. We're publishing more and more step-by-step -step guides. And uh, if you're a hardware developer, please check it out on GitHub. If you're a software developer, check it out on GitHub slash Force Asia. There are also PS Lab uh, um, links. And uh, yeah, have have fun with it. And uh, even if you have production facility, uh, try to set up the device and produce it. The latest code, uh, the latest schematics are always online. Uh, Noah. Yeah, I just want to say it's all free and uh, including hardware and software. 